from being broke to living the high life as an entrepreneur. Helicopter rides, five star hotels, private chauffeur, you name it, I had it. My name is Michael Lee and I'm 32 years old. I've been an entrepreneur for over 10 years and I'm a veteran of the Canadian Armed Forces. I started three businesses throughout my entrepreneurial career. My current business I'll talk about at the end of the video. I'm going to start off and talk about the search. What is the search? As an entrepreneur, you're going to have to pick an arena to do battle in. Where are you going to make your money? There are so many industries. Where do you start? For me, the search took four years of my 20s. I was teaching English in Asia and I was trying to look for an opportunity. I was broke with no money or any business experience. If you want to read, if you want to know more about the search, I suggest you to read the book, How to Get Rich by Felix Dennis. For me, fate called and I found my first opportunity. I started an Amazon business. At the time, I was balancing a job and trying to start a business. I had a lack of business experience and no money at all. Around one or two years later, I had success in the business and it started to work out. I learned about the 80-20 rule where 20% of your input equals to 80% of your output and that led me to success. Having an Amazon business, you need to focus on reviews and that is what I focused on. For one whole year, I focused on getting more reviews for my product and that's when sales took off. The business was making around 30 to 40k in profit per month after one to two years. Now I'm going to talk about the thrill of being rich. At the time, I had a personal chauffeur driving me around in a Tesla or a BMW 7 Series that I rented. Uh, now, now that I think about it, it was really excessive that I had my own personal chauffeur uh, drive me around town. I had a maid that would cook my food, do my laundry, walk my dogs. Uh, that was a lot of help because I wouldn't have been able to do the business things if the personal things weren't be done. Buying material things. So I know that people want to buy things in life and there's a lot of material things that people get caught up with. At the time, um, there was nothing that I wanted that I couldn't afford. If I wanted a $600 backpack, I bought that backpack. Uh, I had a $500 pair of jeans that were made in Japan. Um, I bought several pairs. Uh, yeah, basically anything that I wanted, I bought. Helicopter rides. I used to uh, go to Hong Kong and ride in a helicopter from the top of the Peninsula Hotel to get more motivation. So uh, I would do around uh, two helicopter rides a year just to get my motivation up and that was that. I feel having the money at the time and getting the rush out of my system was so satisfying. Just being able to do what you want whenever you want. Nowadays, I really don't want any material things. One thing that I learned from making money is the mindset of abundance. That there's enough to go around for everyone. Entrepreneurship lessons. Now I'm going to cover the entrepreneurship lessons that I learned. During the search, you're going to have to find a mind that has gold in it. And where do you look? You basically see, look for a niche that other people are making money in. You gotta have belief in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. You gotta work, work, work. You gotta take action. You gotta work smart. You gotta be obsessed for success. You gotta learn to delegate and delegate early. You can't do it all by yourself. Without my business partner, without my employees at the time, there's no way my business would have worked. Despite my street smarts or business acumen, whatever it was, it wouldn't have worked out if it wasn't for them. And I knew, and I know that. And I'm pointing that out now. To be successful, you're gonna need other people's help. So learn to get out there and make some friends. Life lessons. So what does money really give you? I think when people think about money, you think about all the material things that they can buy. Cars, houses, and all the fancy watches etc but what time but what money really gives you is time and freedom to do whatever you want whenever you want I learned about family is important 
friends are important, when your family's not there for you, and time. When time passes, you can't get it back. It's the most valuable thing to life. All the material things are just sprinkles on top of life. That's all it is. Another thing that I learned is that if you don't like what you're doing, don't do it. Go find what you want in life and find a way to get it. Failure, you're gonna fail sometimes. That's just part of the game, deal with it. Losing money. As an entrepreneur or business person, you're gonna make and lose money. That's just part of the game, live with it. What I'm doing now. So what I'm doing now, I have a business called Craft and Handling Company that specializes in handmade leather goods made in Canada. I started this business with my business partner and wife. I'm still grinding away at it to make it successful. It's a whole different ball game. It's different from an Amazon business. In an Amazon business, you worry about reviews and you don't have to worry about getting traffic. But for this business, I gotta get traffic on my own and it requires a whole lot, a lot of work in social media and it's not something that I'm used to. Regarding my financial situation now, I've made a lot of money in my 20s but I still am in the grind. I still need to make money and make a living, unfortunately. I wish I could retire. No, even though I can afford it, I don't drive a Ferrari or a fancy sports car. With my current business, I'm back to the daily grind of an entrepreneur starting out. I hope you like my personal story. If you'd like to hear more about entrepreneurship, my personal stories, or Craft and Antler Company, like, comment, and subscribe to us. Thank you for watching.